This coffee is so cool. All right, how to set up high key lighting in Blender. And first of all, what is high key lighting? Look at the picture to the left. First of all, it is very, very bright. It has a low contrast between lit areas and the dark areas. It is almost shadowless and the lighting is very soft and ambient. And the picture is overexposured. That is high key lighting. And low key lighting is the exact opposite. It is very dark, almost black picture. It, is a, it has a very high contrast between lit and dark areas. The lighting is very hard with the sharp shadows. And if high key lighting is usually accomplished using a front light, the low key lighting is using rim light or edge light or a side lighting. All right, let's set up a soft light first using an HDRI environment. What is soft light? Soft light is usually a big light. But what matters is the actual distance between the light and the object. Sun is very big, but is distant light source. And thus it produces very sharp shadows. Okay, let's pick the HDRI for our environment. You can pick anything, and I've chosen the factory HDRI. To see it better, enable the world background in the display properties. Oh, and you should have a Blender 2.73 to enable it. And the next step is optional, to change the background. You can leave with your HDRI background, but I prefer to, to be able to control everything. So I have downloaded the factory background from Pixabay. And then I just created a background plane with emission shader and applied this texture. Nothing fancy, almost boring. So, high key lighting almost always is accomplished using a front light to be able to destroy all shadows, but that's not always the case. So, let's break rules a bit and use a backlighting. It will look fine as long as it doesn't produce the sharp shadows and all this stuff. In other words, as long as our picture is bright. So, go ahead, place your area light. And the next step is to overexpose the image to death. And be prepared to lose all the information in the high end of the color range. As you see, we're raising exposure and some parts of the image become almost white. And photographers would say that this is no good. But in some cases, this is great. But to make it look great, let's enable film emulation in color management. As you know, the real camera has a narrow color range. And it is what we need right now, so let's enable film and raise the gamma a bit and maybe lower the exposure. See how the bright spots get clipped and isn't it cool? I think it is. So this concludes our crazy tutorial and let's recap what we have done one more time. And let me get a drink. So we've made the HDRI environment. Then we created a bright background on a separate layer. Then we have established a soft area light behind the window. The next step was to crank up the exposure and overexpose the picture. And the last step was to implement the film emulation to clip the color range a bit and make it stylish. I hope you like it. My name is Gleb Alexandro and this is the third tutorial from Lighting Series Open Project. So feel free to subscribe to get the updates and visit creativestream.com. Thank you so much.